Hello everyone, welcome to How Fix It. In this video I'm gonna show you how to disassemble laptop, clean it from dust and replace thermal paste. To disassemble you will need next tools. Philips 1 screwdriver, Torx T5 screwdriver, plastic tool, thermal grease, antistatic brush and tweezers. Also I recommend using a magnetic mat in repair process and laying out uh, each screw step by step during disassembly which is especially useful in case of this uh, laptop and it is very important not to confuse them during assembly. In the description I will link where to buy all necessary tools. Turn the laptop over and remove all screws on the bottom cover. Next, take plastic tool and begin to open the case on the laptop. I recommend using a plastic tool so as not to damage the laptop case when you open it. Disconnect the battery cable from the motherboard. Now let's begin to remove of the cooling system. Disconnect fan cables. Remove all screws on the cooling system. Pay attention to the order of removing the screws. I recommend unscrewing in the indicated order. Now you can remove cooling system by lifting up from the motherboard. Now let's begin cleaning the cooling system from dust. Remove all dust from the radiator and fan. Remove the old thermal paste from the surface of CPU and GPU, as well as from the radiator. If the thermal grease is very dry and doesn't drop well, you can use as a propyl alcohol. How to apply thermal grease? Apply a small amount of thermal paste to the CPU and then take a plastic tool and spread it evenly over the entire surface of the chip. If you still don't know which thermal grease to choose, in the description I will link to the video where I test different thermal graces and choose the best one for laptop. If your laptop is still overheating after cleaning and replacing thermal grease, I recommend watching a video about cooling pad for laptop or how to undervolt CPU and GPU to reduce heat and increase laptop performance. All links you can find in the description. Now you can install the cooling system and tighten all screws. Please note how I tighten the screws on the radiator. It is necessary to tighten the screws evenly on each side a few turns of each screw. If you tighten the screw immediately and completely, there is a chance that you may damage the processor chip.
Well, as it's all, you are on how to fix it, and see you guys next time.